Today, we are reviewing Power Bar Isoactive. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. We are bringing you another unsponsored review. We don't get anything from supplement manufacturers. The first thing I would say about this drink mix is it has been my favorite flavor to test so far of all the things we've tested. I completely agree. Pomegranate is my favorite food and it's a pomegranate raspberry flavoring. I absolutely loved it. I was really excited to try out this product because back when I was in high school, I was mildly obsessed with Power Bars. So when I found out that Power Bar made a drink mix, I wanted to try it out as an adult. I used to eat probably four power bars a day when I was in high school. Wow, that's not a <laughs> mild <laughs> It did not disappoint on flavor. I agree. Beyond flavor, let's look at the nutrition facts. We have no fat, A+. Plus. We have 380 milligrams of sodium per one and a half scoops. We have 29 grams of carbohydrate, 20 of which come from sugar, and zero protein. That's pretty good. Let's jump down to the ingredient list and see where that sugar and sodium comes from. Fancy name first, C2 Max Dual Source Carb Mix. Which is? Also known as glucose, maltodextrin, and fructose. It's really three sources, but it breaks down to two sources in your stomach. Glucose is glucose. Maltodextrin is glucose all strung together in a chain, and then fructose. So you basically have two glucose sources and one fructose source, and then it has 2% or less of everything else. Sodium citrate, salt, also known as sodium chloride, calcium lactate, potassium chloride, magnesium carbonate, citric acid, natural flavored beet juice powder for color. They talk about um, all the micronutrients that you lose in sweat. And so that's probably why they put that in the supplement and in the ingredient list to make you feel good about replenishing what you're losing. But to be honest, it doesn't matter. You really just need to focus on the sodium. And they did a good job with the sodium. The sodium citrate being ahead of salt, sodium chloride on the ingredient list means that you're getting more sodium citrate than salt. But I would argue that if you had got all of your sodium from sodium citrate rather than adding that sodium chloride in, that would be even better. Especially because they're adding other ions that have chloride attached to them like potassium chloride. So we know the optimal glucose fructose ratio is somewhere between two to one and one to one glucose to fructose. And since they list glucose and maltodextrin before fructose, it means it could be two to one if there's one part glucose, one part maltodextrin and one part fructose, it could be exactly two to one, but it will not be any closer to one to one than two to one. What that means is it might be actually suboptimal if you're gonna try to max out your carb intake up in the 90 to 100 grams of carbs per hour range. And if you're interested in learning exactly how to maximize your carb intake during training, we made a video on that, go check it out. They mentioned on the container that you want to make sure that you're not losing more than 2% of your body weight in sweat, which is a good general recommendation. I would argue that you would want to lose less than 2% body weight if possible to maintain blood volume and avoid cardiac drift. Cardiac drift is basically just an increase in heart rate because you're losing blood volume because you're sweating a lot. So if you don't have as much blood volume, your heart has to beat faster to deliver oxygen to your working muscles. Ironically, on the back of their canister, they recommend training your gut and also only intaking 30 to 90 grams of carbohydrate per hour. You don't need to train your gut to intake 30 to 90 grams of carbs per hour. Virtually everybody can do 90 grams of carbs per hour with no gut training and lots of people can do 100 grams of carbs per hour with no gut training whatsoever. So beyond looking at the sodium sources like sodium citrate and table salt, you should check how much sodium there is relative to potassium in every supplement. In one serving, there's 380 milligrams of sodium and there's 150 milligrams of potassium. It's not bad, but it's increasing the osmolarity. Let's check out how they say you should use it and then how we think you should actually use it. They say one serving with 16 fluid ounces of water and one serving has 29 grams of carbs. So if you wanted to actually hit 90 grams of carbs or 110 grams of carbs per hour to do it at their recommended drink concentration, you'd have to consume 48 fluid ounces of water per hour which unless you're sweating heavily is gonna leave you overhydrated, hyponatremic, and with a really sloshy gut. So if you wanted to consume 90 grams of carbs or 100 grams of carbs per hour using this mix, you would probably want to do it slightly more concentrated. So if I were gonna use this, I might use one scoop of this per hour and get the rest of my carbs from sugar. If I did that approach, I would only end up with 380 milligrams of sodium per hour, so I'd have to supplement sodium on top of it. So if you were to use this supplement and you were trying to get 100 grams of carbs per hour, 
How much sodium would you get? You would end up with 1200 to 1300 milligrams of sodium per hour. I would use this as flavoring and then just get the remainder of carbs that I need and the remainder of sodium that I need from plain white sugar and sodium citrate. If I wanted to fuel my three hour bike ride and use this as my fuel and sodium, how much would it cost? How many grams of carbs per hour are you gonna target? Let's do 120. For 120 grams of carbs per hour, you would need four servings of this per hour. We're talking about a $10 bike ride from just your fuel mix. But hey, it tastes great. It does taste really good. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope it's useful for you. And if you have any questions or you want us to review any other product, let us know in the comments. We really are grateful for you guys watching. And if we can add anything to our unsponsored reviews that you would find helpful, specific bits of information, let us know.